What's up dudes, Chooch back with another video and today I'm bringing you my fastest and best trail ride ever on the B-Goat EXN. This is with the side pad, red trails, um, jump pads on the side and these are the Clark pedals right now that are on this as well. And guys, this was just a unique trail. I went down at one time on the way, on the way there and then on the way back I just gave it hell. And I just gave it... I just went, dude, and I was in, like, pure flow state where I was riding, guys, and I didn't even really realize because usually I, I got the camera in front of me, but I was, like, in pure flow state, guys, in this, and I was just riding, having the time of my life, and I was pinned. You can see it just ripping, ripping up, you know, and usually I'm not really riding this hard, guys, and this thing, I was on it, I was feeling it, I was making sure I wasn't hitting those pedals on the side, but guys, one clip of hitting these pedals on the side of one of those logs right there, and it would have tossed me down pretty hard. I will say though, I am wearing some of that chest protective armor, um, that full body armor under this jacket, and um, that works out really good. But dude, I'm getting it. I'm absolutely flying through there, and it felt magical man it literally did this was the best thing i've done all summer long dude like that little trail right there hands down worth a million bucks dude like i can't even tell you bro like it, it's just a feeling once you get through a trail like that and you can go that fast on it without you know clipping anything without having a hiccup or falling and just the way it feels dude it feels like you're on a jet pack it, it really does it feels like you're on a jet pack it feels like you're with no handlebars, man, because I used to race dirt bikes. I used to race dirt bikes on trails exactly like this. I, I raced General GNCC. You can look it up. These boys are wild on the dirt bikes, guys. And I, I raced as a kid through some crazy terrain on, on the dirt bike. And that's exactly where I got, you know, the skills from. Now, I've developed nice more going, skills from riding the unicycle. You can just see right there, man. I'm just, I'm pumped, dude. I'm so pumped because this was, this was the best trail I've ever rode. The best day of riding I've ever had, hands down. And I don't know, man. It was just something about, this is, this is in Aspen, Colorado. And where I'm at right now, I'm going to have another video showing you the hill climb I had to achieve to get here. And... The reason you don't see anybody on these trails up here, guys, is because you need to either uh, ride a bike up, dude, like a, a mile and a half of just brutal uphill, chunky dirt road climbing, or either you have to drive up it in like a 4x4 truck with your bikes to get up here, or either, I mean, the only other people you're going to see up here is the occasional hiker or whatever and I'm looking far enough down trails guys see that's the thing man people think oh this looks dangerous to ride it on trails and stuff like that and it all comes with your abilities guys I can stop on this thing I can jump off this thing I can really really control this thing um, and I'm looking ahead and that was one thing we had to learn with enduro racing guys is to look ahead you see how far ahead my visual line is or I'll at least look up and then I'll look at the few obstacles in front of me but I'm always looking as far ahead as possible down range guys and that's one thing that most riders that got on they get on these electric unicycles it would take a very long time to develop that it took me forever to get that through my thick skull um, to look ahead and down the trail guys and not at the fender uh, one thing that, that you're taught in motorcycle racing especially in woods racing is you should be able to finish the whole race and if your front fender got ripped off you shouldn't even know about it you know that's how far ahead you should be looking because at the end of the day there's not shit you can do about the little bump right in front of you or the little hole or a little hiccup or rock right there in front of you you're just going to look at it and it's just going to mess you up man the best thing you can do is be looking way ahead and just go man look where you want to go and you'll get there you know if you look at that tree you look at that rock whatever it may be you're gonna hit it it's it's crazy man like the way it works is if you just look where you want to go you'll go there but it takes a long time to learn it man it takes a long time to, to actually do it because there's so many times when i was racing the dirt bike where my problem was just looking down looking right at the right in front of me and you just can't carry the speed 
that you would if you were looking ahead. It just will not work. And that's why you see guys trail riding on the unicycles. If they're looking down right in front of them, they'll be riding a lot slower than this right here. And to give y'all reference of where we're at right now, we are currently in the valley above Aspen. So right down there through the valley that you see in front of me, the town of Aspen is right down that mountain. And we're, we're up here in this beautiful, majestic, just, I mean, literally the most beautiful place I've ever seen in my entire life. It's not just the camera guys that looks like this. This place was absolutely gorgeous. It was like, it was like my spot, dude. I loved it. I loved it. It was great. I even went down here to this little creek. I had my uh, Sawyer water filter straw in my backpack. Got me some, some water out of the creek right there. And, uh, you know, it's all clean water. It's coming down from snow runoff right here. And it just was beautiful. By a nice little bridge. There was a little cabin up here, man. There was a cool little cabin you could check out. We'll see that in a second. But all in all, man, this was the most beautiful spot I've ever rode in my entire life. The best trail and the most beautiful spot I've ever rode in my entire life. Hands down. Hands down. I, I mean, honestly, you cannot beat that. What, what you just saw right there was the best thing. I mean, if you ask me what I want to ride on an electric unicycle, why I do this hobby right here, and it's that right there, man. Like, just that right there was impeccable. Impeccable. Just perfect. Alright, so you guys are wondering about the 2700 watt hour new Sherman's coming out. So this right here, it, the Beagoat EXN is actually a 2700 watt hour uh, wheel. Um, 2800 watt uh, motor, 2700 watt hours of battery. And so this is a substantial good bit of battery in here, guys. And one thing that I, I notice about this wheel is it's just a lot... It's, it's extremely fast, guys, and it is so powerful that I, I really do not worry a single bit about overpowering this wheel on braking, on anything like that. The only, the only caveat to this wheel, guys, I think, is just how wide it is. I think if it was just, if you could, if it was just a little bit more narrow, um, it would be good, and then on any wheel, guys, I want to see in the future, I'm just going to go ahead and put that in there for, for um, the manufacturers. I want to be able to raise the pedals up, you know, kind of absurdly high. And it might not be for everybody, but I think for certain situations like this, I've adapted to riding, and I accept riding electric unicycles on trails for what it is. And I know that the pedals are low. And guys out there on mountain bikes and guys out there on dirt bikes are like, dude, why would you ride something like that with pedals that low that can just hit a rock, dude, and you're just going to go down? And it's, um, it's you know, like anything else. It's like, why would you ride a dirt bike in the woods through trees whenever you could just get a motorcycle and ride it on the highway? It's all obstacles, dude. It's all, all the nature of riding and everything like that. Like, I love it because it is that technical. You have to put way more thought into navigating those rocks and everything like that. And and you may have to hit a trail one time. Like whenever I went the other way going up that trail that I just went flying down, one thing I scouted out was rocks on the side. I can see the big logs, but it's just those hidden rocks that are in that little bit of shrubbery on the side that may be the thing that, that snatches you and pulls you down on the ground. And actually, actually on this day of riding... I did have a crash, and I might have gotten it on footage, actually. So I, I might put that in here. I might not, actually. <laughs> we'll, we'll have to see. It might be an embarrassing one. But look at this. Look at the beauty you find on these electric unit cycles. Look at this. It is absolutely majestic, man. Some of the places I've gone and found, and it's turned me into such an, an, an adventurous person. I just love the outdoors so much more than I used to. Man, I used to sit inside and just play video games all day. I uninstalled every video game off the computer. I removed the Call of Duty video game. I removed uh, the. I used to play Dota 2 all the time, man. Dude, that stuff is just garbage, man. That's just toxic garbage for the soul, man. Man, this is this hobby has just helped me so much in every way, shape, and form, man. It is just good, genuine, clean adventuring fun 
and you can't beat it, man. You really cannot beat it, no matter how you ride. Whether you ride slow, whether you're just getting into it, whether you're riding the city, you know, whether you explore on it, or whether, you know, this is your first means of transportation. And it's, and it's a way for you to just explore around where you live at, you know? I think these things are just incredible, and I love them so much. I took some sick photos too, wanted to show them to you guys. Also, wanted to tell y'all, I get a lot of questions. They're like, yo, Chooch, why are you have like so many links to different places like E-Rides, Rev Rides, E-Wheels, um, you name it, Alien Rides. And dude, honestly, this is a blessing right now because you guys get to pick which site has the wheel you want in stock, you know, and also where you're buying from. If you're in the Bay Area, hit up Alien Rides. If you're up in, you know, Northwest, hit up uh, Rev Rides because they're close by. If you're in, you know, the rest of the USA, whatever, go with E Wheels maybe. But UK, um, e definitely, guys, if you're in the UK, you got to go with E, um, with e Rides. Because, dude, Afiz is running a great program over there. The site looks incredible, man. He's got everything in stock all the time. He's running a, a collaboration with um, Lazy Rolling with the hoodies, which are just phenomenal as well. And the dude rides all the time. He's a great, great dude. So if you're in the UK, go with E-Rides, man, all day. But I just wanted to clarify that, you know, and... I'm glad to be able to work with everybody. It's a blessing to be able to do that. And with the way the situation is with the stock and all that, it's awesome. So if you want to get a unicycle, if you want to get a scooter, anything like that, using the links below, guys, helps me out. And at no cost to you, it literally will help me keep making more content, be able to go on more trips, everything like that in between. And I just wanted to clarify that, you know, because you're probably thinking, why is there so many different links? That's why. Anyways, dudes incredible day of riding so much fun man i love trail riding and if you got some trails near you or if you can make a trail or go find something to ride off road go do it because it is so much fun man all right guys so i just went ahead and checked the stock on all the sites for you guys the only place that still has one of these left in stock is in the uk at e-rides and i'm glad i just checked because the alien rides apparently just since yesterday they've updated the site and it says they're going to have the new Beagoat EXN Speed version available available soon and a Torque version, which is insane, guys, because I freaking love having the the differences in the wheels right there. I used to have the High Torque MSX and the Speed MSX, dude, and that is that's awesome they're doing that. But anyways, that's the update on it. Stay tuned for more.